ein Volkchen auf den Wiese stand, gehört und sie und unbekannt. Es war ein herzig Fall. Das tut mir sehr gut. I, I mean, it's not often that uh, first graders have this kind of opportunity and for the class to be able to see performances from artists that do this professionally, they, I oftentimes when they're singing, I will turn and look at the class and they don't blink, they don't, they are staring, they're watching, they get really a front row seat at a performance twice a week and they love it. And opera is, I call it it's literature that is alive. That's a quote that I use all the time. It's like literature that's alive. So opera, it's not just the music side, it's not just the theater, and it's not just the dance. It's all of them together, and it's a whole production. They do the opera song with them, which also has many of the elements that they're learning in it. They talk about um, the singing and dancing and, and different things that singers do during a performance. So they're not only getting some of that wiggle out, but they're also teaching them what they're going to be doing when they eventually perform. Uh, then we move into whatever the lesson is going to be about. Typically there's a little bit of a review. Sometimes they bring back some of the other songs so that they remember the vocabulary that they've learned, uh, the story elements that they've learned, and then they go into whatever new thing they're teaching them this, at this lesson. Operas are stories themselves, and so it lends them itself to language arts very well because of the story itself. So they still have characters, they have problems, they have solutions. Everything that the first graders are learning through their standards in first grade with their in first grade with their normal teachers. While, while Stephanie was was narrating, singing the story, I was acting out the violin, and I also sang part of the lines that were um, a quote up from the violin. So I sang that part, and then I just really needed to act it up because the students do not understand German. So there were some words that were mentioned uh, that, that, that the students actually said uh, about how I felt. That came from, uh, the, they were able to say those words because of the things that I did from previous lessons. Like we actually teach them vocabulary words. We, we taught them 20, 20 new words this year. Sure, the club was looking for a, a signature project in 2004. We, we wanted to have a major project that would really help to define our club as far as what is one of our main areas of focus. And we brought two or three um, projects before the club, we voted on it, and, and then Washington School won two to one. So students that learn well help the city, city to thrive.